My name is Wade Smith, Superintendent for Walla Walla Public Schools, and this is the March Pulse. When confirmed cases of the coronavirus first appeared in Washington State in late February, Walla Walla Public Schools has made every effort to ensure we communicate our safety, prevention, and preparedness measures with staff, parents, and community. We remain in consistent contact and coordination with our local health department and will continue collaborating with them. Our pledge to parents and faculty is that my team and I will be communicating openly and often about this matter, utilizing various modes of communication, including our coronavirus webpage. It can be easily accessed from our district's website. We continue to follow our district's pandemic response plan that places student and staff safety as our top priority. In addition to student hygiene training, enhanced cleaning activities, and other preventative measures, additional safety and preemptive actions have also been implemented now that a local case has been detected. Social distancing, additional after-hours disinfecting, added sanitizing supplies in our schools, and postponing some non-essential large gathering community events and activities have been recommended and implemented. As you can understand, this is a fluid situation, and the safety and well-being of students and staff remain our top priority. As stated prior, we have developed a website specifically related to this matter and encourage staff, students, parents, and community to continue checking back for updated information. Contact our district nurse or the district office for more information. Thank you for your patience, your understanding, and flexibility throughout this episode, and continue to encourage your child to practice sensible hygiene practices to help combat the spread of this virus. On behalf of nearly 6,000 students, 800 employees, and our five-member board of directors, I would like to thank our community for their overwhelming support for Walla Walla Public Schools' February 11th Replacement Education Levy. This vote of confidence continues a 50-year legacy of levy support. Approval of the levy ensures continuation of the critical programs, opportunities, and experiences for our students. Not not only was the election night's levy approval the highest in 26 years in Walla Walla, it was also one of the strongest approval ratings statewide for all districts our size and larger. This overwhelming community support is a testament to our collective success and momentum and indicative of the incredible community we live in and raise our families in. Thank you all for your support, encouragement, and trust as you continue to help us spark the imagination, passion, and futures for thousands of Walla Walla students. As we've reviewed in previous pulses, in March 2019, the board launched a review and outreach process focused on exploring the possibility of converting an existing elementary school into an early learning center. A reduction in elementary students across the district over the last 10 years, in addition to lagging kindergarten readiness scores, were key factors that led to the study. And as you are aware, after about eight months of community engagement and outreach and research, the board voted unanimously to proceed with converting Blue Ridge Elementary School into the Walla Walla Center for Children and Families, effective fall of the 2021 school year. This new early learning center will provide unprecedented access and opportunity for our community's youngest learners, helping ensure Sure all students who enter kindergarten are ready for success. As a result, about 10 classrooms of students and staff currently housed at Blue Ridge will relocate to either Green Park, Sharpstein, or Prospect Point Elementary Schools next year. Class sizes will not increase as adults and support staff will relocate with students to their new schools. Additionally, school efficiencies after the transition will better align with state funding models allowing for enhanced staffing, resources, and supports across the three campuses. As we begin to announce opportunities available at the new Center for Children and Families, I encourage our community to visit our website to learn more. You can find us at wwps.org ccf. There you will find information about some of the core programs that have already been announced and those that are in the works and coming soon. We are excited to share that the four-year-old transitional kindergarten program is now open for enrollment for next year. This full day, five-day week experience is a program primarily for four-year-old resident students who demonstrate a need or otherwise do not have access to the high quality early learning experiences that are critical when they enter kindergarten. Eligible students must be four years old. The program is free for qualifying families, transportation is provided, and the age-appropriate instruction is geared around experiential learning and play-based approaches. Small class sizes, certificated teachers, full-time classroom assistants, and access to PE and food, food services are just a, some of the opportunities that are available to students in this center. To learn more about our four-year-old transitional kindergarten program, in addition to our three- and four-year-old Head Start and ECAP preschool programs, please visit our website or call us at 526-1781. Well, as we wrap up this March Pulse, I do want to take just a moment to share with you some exciting uh, improvements headed our way towards Pioneer Middle School. Towards the end of February, we released a video that provided a little bond update around the conceptual designs for the middle school. Uh, and again, as we recall, this project is made possible through the community's overwhelming support of that no tax increase replacement bond approved in November of 2018. I encourage everyone to visit the website to learn more about the exciting enhancements coming to the 1950s campus. Over the coming months, we'll be finalizing design documents going out to bid later this summer, and work will begin in the fall as required by the state's uh, matching program. 
As I shared with the leadership students and staff recently, what an historic opportunity it will be to participate in such an unprecedented improvement project. Although there will be some transitions and temporary facilities to allow for the site improvements, safety remains our top priority. In addition, we have thoughtfully phased the, the programming to minimize disruption and ensure continuity of experience for programs such as music, fine arts, and sciences during the whole bond program. Well, thank you for taking the time in this March Pulse to learn a, bit, a little bit about our Center for Children and Families and some of the bond improvements taking place at Pioneer Middle School and just the exciting opportunities headed our way next year as we look forward to an outstanding 2020-21 school year. With that, if you ever have any questions or I can ever be of service to you, don't hesitate to contact me by email or give me a call. Thanks and have an outstanding month of March. Contact me by email or give me a call.